Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey. I'm here today. I've somehow made it to top 32 of the official Smogon doubles tournament. Out of 500 players, I am in the top 32, a singles player, and I finished 20th seed overall. So, not too bad, I would say. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be playing Z Strats today, who is one of the people I think favored to win the entire thing. They're very good. So, if you guys do enjoy the tournament games, make sure you let me know, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'm on the way to 300k, that's my end of your goal. If you subscribe, I can hit it. But, this is going to be interesting. Big shout out to Fespi for all the help. It's actually funny because Z Strats is considered Fespi's like rival, or he considers it his personal rival. So, if I beat him, I have helped out the, the teacher. <laughs> But uh, in any case, guys, I'll pause it until we get into the battles. We'll be right back. Guys, so here we are with uh, game one versus Z-Strats. So it looks like we both have Sun. My ask for timer off, haven't tested it. Uh, I don't know if I can turn off the timer. Does it say anything about that? Timer. Oh. Oh, standard rules and clauses. Activity. Okay. Okay. That's allowed. I'm fine with it. I also have no idea how to turn off timer when it's auto set, but we'll figure it out. Um, Eruption's pretty cool here, obviously. I like Torky. Torky the Torkoal. Torky the Torkoal is pretty cool. I'll be real. The problem is Faramosa plus this is a lead. Like, Faramosa Feram is just annoying for the team in general, right? But Faramosa next to anything is kind of just tricky for me. I think we go Necrozma because it matches up strong versus a lot. And then we want something that can kind of deal with... Basically, we want to force, I think, decisions. So if I have... <laughs> Fespi nicknamed these Pokemon, but if I have uh, Landorus plus Necrozma out, Faramosa can't KO both. Or either. To be honest, so we'll do this. Do lead Faramosa plus Venusaur. I could very easily be Scarf, and they don't know it. Um, I kind of like the idea of just expanding Force. Uh, Faramosa is most certainly going to U-turn, but I'm going to expanding Force into Venusaur. It could also protect. I doubt it. Triple Axles turn one. I don't think you ever triple axle turn one, especially because I have Lele that can come out. So I'm gonna go. If I go in DD, expanding force hits both. Like, period. I kind of like the idea of expanding force into Venusaur and protecting. Like, Venusaur could also miss Sleep Powder, too. So there's like a few options that could happen here. I'm gonna expanding force into that. Faramos is really difficult. I feel like I have to play aggressive versus it. I'm expanding force and earth power into Faramosa. Yep, expecting the U-turn. Okay, so earth power is going to hit something on that side. Maybe it might be in DD. I'm not sure. It could be Torkoal too. They end up going Torkoal. So Torkoal dies, uh, assuming I break through. They wear the ball here, but I do get rid of Torkoal. So Torkoal straight up dies. I have spit F, my own spit F Torkoal, so I can live... Basically guaranteed every hit and go for Heat Wave here. I'm going to Heat Wave. And I'm going to anticipate my opponent to probably U-turn again. I'm going to make the Heatran play, I think. I think Heatran makes a lot of sense. Keeping Landers alive so I can knock out Deancey in one hit. But yeah, we're going to Heat Wave here for sure. And me being special defensive, I can live in Earth Power from Venusaur, surely, right? Torkoal. Faramosa. That's not. That's Life Orb. Close Combat's going to do a lot, but the big one is Venusaur. Yeah, Earth Power doesn't kill me if it's modest after recovery. So I Heat Wave always with that slot. I think I Earth Power again because if they triple Axel into my into my into my this, I kill both of them with Heat Wave. So yeah, they triple Axel into the wrong slot. 
provided I land Heat Wave, I, I kill. So that Mon's dead, and Heat Wave single target, so it definitely kills that. Perfect. So we got rid of that. Amazing for me. Necrozma comes out, and Deity is there. I can't really stop an expanding force, but this can stop Trick Room into Deancey, so I think I'm going to go you. Because I can will o -wisp Deancey if they get up a Trick Room. And then Earth Power into Necrozma, because then I can... Because then I have Scarf Heatran as well. So I'm going to save Torkoal just because it can will o -wisp Deancey if Trick Room ends up going up. They tripled axled into the Torkoal slot. I'm not sure if that was a misclick. Does Landers get Ally Switch? If it did, it's broken. I think they just didn't want to CC. So yeah, I get beautiful Earth Power off on the Cosma. They end up Meteor Beaming. Perfect. This is a free eruption. I expanding force and eruption for sure. And basically I just gotta try and deal with oh that's good that they came in directly with Deancey there. So they're gonna take a lot of damage with eruption in the Yeah, I played that back. Good game. Is it over? Oh yeah, it's over. Good game. Alright, so we win game one. Gonna save this replay because we have to. Save every replay. And then... What's going on over here? Here is the game two team. Um, okay, let me get this. I'm going to pause it real quick before I go into game two. I'll bear about it. So here we are with game two. Sick team. Uh, I didn't actually look for the video. Here's all my tabs. Even if I did, who cares? But I don't have time to look for the video. Um, obviously, this is a hard trick room. Hard trick room. I have a Spectre which can't touch one and two at all. I have Cosmic Power, Body Press, Metagross, which is pretty cool here. But this guy's an obvious problem. I mean, the obvious lead is like Incineroar because it gets fake out. And... Uh, I'm actually leaning towards Spectre A just because it can stop Dustclops from setting up Trick Room. So I'm going to try that because I have Shadow Ball plus this. So you know, there's the Dustclops. They might ally switch to get up Guaranteed Trick Room. So I'm going to knock off into Ndidi. I guess they could also... Does Ndidi learn ally switch? Yeah, it does. So, like, they might technically ally switch to get off the Trick Room. Or they could also go for the, um... I'm gonna knock off Dustclops regardless, I think. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can... Taunt the NDD. They do follow me. So that means I can't do it next time, which is cool. So I get a nice little taunt there. They get up a Trick Room, which is whatever. They can't follow me in the following turn, so... I'm going to Parting Shot into Dustclops, anticipating that slot to want to switch. And I think I go Top of Phoenix, because I think they would switch into something that can, Top of Phoenix can deal with. So Dustclops should technically switch, but Ndidi not being able to do any annoying stuff is cool. So, yeah, Parting Shot with Incineroar just makes the most sense, because Dustclops should bring in something. I think... But yeah, Taunt ta is cool because now they can't do annoying things next turn. I brought the horse. So they go Scrafty with that slide. That's fine. I get in top of Feeny, like I said, I expected Scrafty to come out this time. They do ally switch and I get I basically get it on Scrafty, which is what I wanted. Um I like the idea of bringing out you. I'm going to double out into Incineroar here, 
just because it gets Intimidate off, and it also lets me keep my terrain in the back. And, uh... Because they could also go in DD, I guess, to stop a fake out, but what would that really do? Right? I just don't expect Scrafty to stay out, is the thing. A Moonblast into Dusclops. Yeah, there's the Volcanion. What the f... <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> So they'd switch first, so this is a basic guaranteed... I fake out into Volcanion because they're going to switch first with Dusclops, and I go Grookey here with Tapufini because I'm slowest because I'm fastest, so it can stop the terrain. So basically they can switch out Dusclops into... I guess they could always ally switch. Is ally switch higher priority? I don't know the freaking rules. Priority plus two. Priority plus three. Sick. Okay. So fake out, and I bring you out into Rillaboom. Because Trick Men soon. Yes, yeah, so there's the Ndidi switch, like I said. So I called that. I brought out Rillaboom to get up the grassy terrain, and now I can fake out. I can fake out Volcanion again. So I can actually. Parting shot into the Ndidi slot, and fake out Volcanion again. So that way Trick Room ends up ending. I still have Metagross at the end of the day to also be really strong, so... I expect Ndidi to bring out Scrafty again. Or Dusclops, to be honest. Yep, there's Scrafty. So there's the fake out, parting shot into Scrafty. I'm gonna give you out just to get out the Intimidate here. Bring you back out. Do I? Woodhammer. I actually want to see if I can explode. I think I explode and switch out you just because they might fake out this mon so they can get a kill because Volcano will live and bring out Spectre. I'm going to try that. Let's see if this works. They faked out that mon. That's unfortunate. So they steam erupt into me, which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. Yeah, so I was a little bit of an aggressive call there, uh, because I, I was trying to get the greedy explosion, I think. Gonna go for the wood hammer into Volcanion now. And bring out Tapufini. I was a dummy for doing this, because it did not work out. Because basically all I did was... Get rid of uh, get rid of my terrain, but I'm gonna moonblast into Volcano anyway, and just woodhammer into it too. Ignore the Scrafty. Volcano is like the biggest threat. It sucks I lost my Landorus, but Volcano is the biggest threat. I don't think the Glusclops can actually touch me, so I think that Metagross might be able to win if I can kill Volcano. So we're gonna try. Get a moonblast. Could get a drop too. Do get a special attack drop, which is big. Nice. Sludge Bomb doesn't end up killing me. Which is also big. Gonna U-turn into that. Gonna U-turn into that. I think Moonblast does clops as well. Just a little bit of chip, you know? So Fake Out's still the highest priority I can go for here. 
So I'm going to fake out Volcanion and switch out Tapu Fini once again into Grookey. I think that's always my play. I could rock to him, I guess. But we're going to keep Tapu Fini alive just because it changes terrain. There's so much going on in this. Okay, fake out you. They did rock tomb, which is to be expected. I'm going to make the call that they ally switch this mon actually into this side. So I'm going to go top of. Mm, if I go top of Fini. No, 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 no. I have to make that. If I'm going to make that call, I'm going to make that call, right? So I'm going to knock off into Volcanion. No. I think it's a guaranteed kill on Volcanion. I'm a grassy glide and dust flaps. I feel like they ally switch here. They go Scrafty. So they protected. Uh, it actually gets forced out, which is interesting. So I actually forced them out because they're eject. And now they can bring out the horse, which is very scary. Horse is indeed scary. I really thought they'd ally switch there. I got a crit on Scrafty too, which is pretty big. I can almost click Shadow Ball versus their team. Almost. <laughs> I'm assuming you bring out Ndidi here. Like, almost guaranteed. I need to kill Volcanion, though, so that way I can start doing things with my Metagross. Like, this is the one thing stopping my Metagross, I feel. I guess they have to think because if I knocked off into that slot, which I, I didn't technically, uh, I mean, they might think I mocked off into that slot. They have to be very careful. Dazzling Gleam plus Heat Wave could probably come out. No, they'd probably Steam Erupt, right? I can still Grassy Glide. I can technically still Grassy Glide. So this is interesting because. Yeah, what are they even going to do here? Because Grassy Glide will still kill Volcanion at 29%, right? Minus one. Let's just say doubles bulky attacker. 22 to 26. Oh, shoot, it doesn't. Huh. Steam Eruption most likely kills me. Do I make... Ugh, this is such a tough turn. I need to kill Volcanion, man. I need to kill Volcanion. I think I go you. And I Woodhammer Volcanion. Okay, I think I got the call right because I should my my thing should live and I should be able to kill them with Woodhammer. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think I got the call right. Let's see if it killed them. Okay, we got the call right. Thank you. And now I can just get off Intimidate and I get a guaranteed fake out on something. So that's awesome. Fake out onto that. And a U-turn. Onto Ndidi, because Ndidi should switch out. So I get a nice free fake out on Glass Crusade. They go that, that's fine. I bring you out now. I'm going to Flare Blitz into Scrafty. Instant a War. And Shadow Ball into Hatterene. Let's see if this worked. Okay, so I got rid of that. Awesome. Indeedy comes out. I'm just going to knock off Indeedy and go Rillaboom to change the terrain. Because they're going to follow me here, obviously. So I get rid of Indeedy, so it means I have complete control over the terrain. Complete control over the terrain. 
So this is really, really this is looking really good for me right now. Especially because Incineroar is still around. So I switch you out into Sweat Gross, and I fake out Glass Gray, always. The Dazzling Gleam there. And now I... Cosmic Power once, and make the Incineroar play. Oh, and they didn't even... So I get the Intimidate off in there. So they might, they might CC into this, they high horsepower, that's fine. So I get a Cosmic Power off, which is awesome. And now I get a Guaranteed Protect. This might be another Weakness Policy set. I think I Protect here and knock off this. Because they should protect the horse. They do have another Weakness Policy. That's fine, I got that right. Get that kill right there, which is awesome. Gonna body press into that. And I think I go Rillaboom with this slot. The Helping Hand. They don't kill me, which is great. And I get some guaranteed damage off there. Uh, how do I not choke this endgame? I think I body press into you. And wood hammer into you, just in case they do ally switch. So they do protect. So that's cool. Because I end up killing Dusclops there. And they can't protect the next turn with Glass Dray. Body press kills that. And I can simply U-turn on Hatterene. They had to go. They did go for the double protect, which unfortunately worked out. But it's fine because I get off another Intimidate on them. And it's a guaranteed fake out next turn. So we're going to protect here with Gross. Um, no, 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 no. It's a guaranteed fake out. So I just body press into this. And they're trying for a triple protect here now. They don't get it. Yep, they had to. Nice. I have officially, GG's, I have officially made it into top 16 versus somebody who was a very strong player, and I freaking did it. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm so proud of myself, man. I am so proud of myself for winning that. Now, the unfortunate thing is that I, uh, I play, it's, it, so I'll show you real quick. So, these are the standings, right? As you can see, there's some people who had buys. The top four had buys. I'm guaranteed to play Fespi next. Fespi has been feeding me teams the entire tournament. The literal only reason I am in this tournament is because Fespi said, hey, I'll, I'll, I'll literally read the message like out loud. I'll read the message out loud just because. I'm gonna drink some water too because I was a... Mm. I really have to think about positioning in that game, man. <laughs> oh, best we just DM me, you're a god. You just took Arya, the best player in the tier, and dismantled them. Outplayed as hell. Sexiest YouTuber there's ever been. So proud of you, dude. <laughs> Much love, Fespi. I really appreciate you, bro. I really do appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Um, It's a damn shame we freaking fight. <laughs> Let me type to it. <laughs> bro, I'm so hyped. I wish we didn't play. <laughs> Who the hell is going to give me tea? I told him to give me teams anyway. Um... Uh, let me let me find this uh, doubles Here you go. Here you go. So he sent this to me I just want to read it just because I think it's very funny because I am about to fight fast beat in the next round guaranteed so uh, He said uh, Damn we've been in this tournament for three months good lord Okay, he said this Love the recent increase in tournament content. This was uh, 6 slash 12 slash 2022. This freaking June. 
Love the recent increase in tournament content. Been watching every single one. And screw all title haters. <laughs> you should check out OSDT, OST, but doubles. Gonna be huge this year, and I can pass you teams. Just one dozen seasonals for my teams are kind of heat. And I said, I think about it, not gonna lie, but when new puppy's been busy, I don't have time. But when it said, uh, and he said, puppies love <laughs> He showed a video of me. And then and he was like, I will literally pass you teams, and I'll help you with lessons. And I'm gonna be completely honest, he did. He did. And he's the reason that I made it this far. So thank you, everybody. Thank you everybody for watching. Um, I am very hyped. I mean, I don't freaking play double. This is my my extent of doubles is this, and then the one year I had to play doubles for Grand Slam. What the hell? The one year I had to play doubles for Grand Slam. The one year I had to play doubles for Grand Slam, and even then I did not go far in it, nor did I win it in my actual Grand Slam playoff game. So this means a lot to me. I'm, I'm very proud of myself. And um, thank you everybody for all the support. I hope you guys have been enjoying. If you have, make sure you let me know by leaving a like. Subscribe to the channel, man. I, I got, I'm in top 16, baby. I'm in top 16, bro. That's freaking, that's almost, that, that, well, that's, that's one more away from the next one. But yeah, wait, they streamed my game? That's freaking crazy. I got to go watch that. But yeah, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm hype, man. I'm hype. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.